Look at this. They have every single club, every brand of club you can imagine. We're going to start with Mizuno and TaylorMade and see what the vibe is on those clubs and just see what happens. That was actually hit well. Yeah, that was it well. <laughs> I take it back. It was great. <laughs> Guys, it is a beautiful day. And when I say beautiful day, I mean beautiful. Currently not in Dallas, Texas anymore. We're a little bit higher in elevation. We're in Colorado, we're in Denver, Colorado. We dropped in this morning about 10.30. And we're like, you know what? Today's the day that Mike and I need to get a club fitting. So we hopped on a plane at 7.30 a.m. with Steven and Matt. We flew all the way here to Denver to the Golf Tech headquarters. And that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. We're going to be getting a club fitting at Golf Tech. And we're going to dial it in, figure out the clubs, figure out what I need to be hitting in my bag for irons. Tate's going to figure out what he needs for his driver. Dad, go home. And we're going to get the games locked in on another level. Like, I'm ready to actually start playing well once we get this club fitting going. It's crazy to think that, like, we're pretty good golfers in all of our years of experience. We've never actually got fitted for clubs. <laughs> you did. I did, and I didn't buy the clubs. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I've never been fitted, so this is going to be super cool to see numbers and actually get some real, real, this is the real deal. Fun fact about Golf Tech is there's actually, I believe, 212 or so locations worldwide, internationally. So if you guys have a Golf Tech location by you, you're looking to get a club fitting or lesson, and you're wanting the, the best of the best, go into Golf Tech, check out your numbers, see what the club fitting's looking like, see what your lesson's looking like, get dialed in, okay? So huge shout out to Golf Tech. We're going to get it going. Going. We're gonna dial in the yardages and hopefully get better at this game of golf that we all love. All right, guys, we have made it to the fitting bay and we're about to get this thing started. We got our guy Nick over here. He's gonna be fitting every single iron in my bag oh, today. Yeah. And I'm excited. Mike is gonna be getting a driver fitting for his channel. So if you guys haven't checked out his channel, that will be coming probably sometime after this video. But what's the first thing we look at when it comes to an iron fitting? Well, your old stuff to begin with to see if that's even like a problem. Okay. So you might have a shaft, for example, it says uh, S300 on it or stiff, might not frequency out to that. Then we have watch you hit your shots, track all your launch characteristics, like your backspin, the launch angle, right. the descent angle, which is maybe one that's overlooked very often, which is the angle the ball lands on the ground. Right. If that's too ac acute or it's coming down almost Ooh. straight down. Yeah, be like that. I have never it's heard of that. Word, yeah. too. It's not even a big one. That is the first time I've ever heard that in a club thing. I like it. So a couple that with uh, getting a a club head that's got the right launch and spin for you right. with, with a driver like we'll do with Micah and for you with an iron to see how far you carry something but also the angle the ball lands on the ground right. and the amount of backspin you have will help you play better. So that's what we're going to be doing guys. We're going to dive right in. I would assume we're starting with a 7 iron of the club that I'm currently playing which is the Callaway Apex Pro as you guys already know. So that's what I'm going to be hitting first. Just hitting a bunch of 7 irons seeing if there is an issue with the clubs that I'm already using. If there's not then boom we're we're fitted. <laughs> Something to take into account here, guys. If there is a golf tech by you anywhere and you guys are trying to go get a fitting or a lesson, you guys are going to get the same type of fitting or a lesson as I'm getting today. There's no special treatment for me because I'm here at the headquarters. There's nothing different. You're going to walk in here. They're going to treat you the same way. You come out with the perfect set of clubs for you. You, you will. will. Play. I mean, just look at this. They have every single club, every brand of club you can imagine. So they're not going to fit you with any type of brand. They're going to fit you with the perfect brand for you. So it's pretty neat. I mean, they got every driver, every shaft, everything you can possibly imagine. So I tell you what, I'm, I am just stoked. A few questions and then we'll get your baseline data. Did you get fit for these or did you just have them sent to you? No, I, I've never been fit. Awesome. Which way do you hit a ball if you hit a bad one? Short, long, left, right? Uh, with irons, probably right right okay. now. Your stock shot, your normal shot is a pretty straight draw, fade. Maybe if anything, a fade right now. Which right. way would you like to hit it? I don't mind it leaking right, but yeah, let's do it straight. Okay. Let's do straight. Trajectory too high, too low. Like the way you hit it. I like the way the height is, to be honest. Issues with your game and your hitting specifically that's frustrating on the toe anything uh, in particular that you'd want to get out of a club fitting that whether it's just questions that you might yeah, have. Yeah, for me it's more education. Like okay. I want to be able to learn. I'm a big numbers guy, so awesome. understanding these numbers is going to be cool. I'm ready for this fitting. I'm actually really excited. I've never seen this before. The fact that they're asking questions before the club fitting is actually really cool. I've got a few different charts here that we're gonna look at. Backspin, the launch angle, and then the landing angle of the ball on the ground. But I'm also watching the carry distance of each one of these shots. <laughs> Four 
shot. So here's what you're reading. Everything that you see up here is an average of those four. So this is your club. A ball speed is great. Backspin, 6134. Relative to the ball speed that you have, here's a chart that would tell you how much backspin you want. You're still in the range of what I would try to do for sure, but it's probably creeping up on the high side. That's not a problem. The launch angle, however, you are launching these a little bit higher than what you would need to get the optimal distance, but still stop the ball quickly. Right. So the launch is too high and then here's your angle of descent. That's where I was talking about it before of landing too high of a landing angle, right. too obtuse of an angle now. Right. So yeah. what I would try to do with the next couple clubs is actually keep your backspin about the same, lower the launch, lower the angle of descent, and then keep an eye on your carry distance. That's your carry right. at this altitude of the I hit my club and obviously as we can tell, a little too spinny, one, and the angle coming in a little too this way. So right now we're going to the Apex MB, which is the bladed seven iron from Callaway, which should in theory launch this a tiny bit lower and give me a little bit less spin. We're gonna see, but that's the guess right now. So let's give it a few points. I've yet to hit one really good. I might tell you something about those clubs too. Okay, right now, I just hit that club pretty bad. I'm just gonna see if it was a feel thing and I still feel like this club might be better. I don't know. This feels a lot lighter. Yeah, I mean, I said. So all right, so here's the deal, guys. Obviously, my club, that started first. Then I moved on to the Apex MB, which was the bladed club, which also was the original Callaway set of irons that I wanted. So now it's starting to look like it's a good thing that I didn't get them because I didn't hit that one as good as the clubs that I currently have in the bag. We are going on to the X-Forge CB, which I have never even heard of this club until now. So this is also feeling a little bit heavier. I don't know if that's just a mental thing or what, but it's definitely, I can feel the difference. That was actually hit well. Yeah, that was it well. <laughs> Currently I've hit my clubs, a bladed club, and this club, and so far the worst one I hit was the blade, so I think that one's out for sure. Well, I know everybody likes the blades, but they're just, those misses just aren't as good. So here's the stats from this. You've got a spin rate that's 66.54. It's maybe a touch on the high side, but you'll hold the greens pretty well. I'm still not too concerned about that one. The launch is a touch less. It went from 17 and a half to 16 and a half. And then your angle of descent is getting closer. It's under 50 now. Right. It still needs to be even lower yet. So in a perfect world, I'd grab you a 6.5 of that shaft instead okay. of a 6.0 and just watch your launch and spin go down. So okay. down there, if you like that hit. Still want to try like that Maverick though, because I'm curious to see let's try how much lower you can hit. Yeah, that. let's try it. Now don't throw up on the mat when you look at this. I don't like the way this looks. <laughs> I want to see, I want to see what the ball does. <laughs> Guys, this is the fourth seven iron that I've hit. Go 290 yards. It's a Maverick Max. Yeah, these clubs, I feel like we hit it well, but we'll see. Interesting part. Spin went down a touch. The launch is really good. I think for high speed players, I like that 16 for sure. And mm -hmm. then you're you're down in that 49 degree. The one you did hit, that Apex Corrosion, is great. You should feel good about what you have. Should we put a different shaft in it? Try and get the numbers more? Yeah, yeah. We can tune that down just a little bit more. All right, guys, we have tested pretty much all of the Callaway options for my game when it comes to irons. As of now, just coming in here and testing these four different clubs. The club that's currently winning is the club that is already in my bag, which is the Callaway Apex Pro. So right now, we're going to actually test some different brands. Maybe there's a different brand of club that's even better for me. We're going to start with Mizuno and TaylorMade and see what the vibe is on those clubs and just see what happens. You're limited by each vendor by how many blades they've got. So here's one that is from TaylorMade. These things Things look pure, guys. P770. See what we can do here. Cool, let's take a look at those numbers. Here's where we really start seeing a difference. Yeah. Look at that backspin, though. Holy cow. Backspin way up on that one, as you guys can tell. Launch angle up, descent coming in too high. Yeah. That way. I think it's coming in like a freaking straight out of the sky. Because with this club, I am using the heaviest, least amount of spin shaft you can find, pretty much. Yeah. And in my clubs that I have in my bag, I have one of the lightest shafts. And I'm spinning those less than these, so numbers. Yeah, let's not waste time. To try this one. Guys, we're maneuvering on to an... You're hitting them straight right? He's like shanked like four already. 
I have not seen. Look at the ball fight. <laughs> I think it's pretty awesome. Steve, Steve is actually getting clothes. like an actual lesson, and I'm pretty excited to see how that goes. But so you're so not far, getting though. nothing. Your your legs are too small. The, the the facility is pretty great, so I'm pretty excited to see what we can do with it. MP20. Mizuno. Well, it doesn't that look clean, Ooh, baby. Seven iron from Mizuno. 34 degrees of loft. Is that? I thought seven irons were 38. Depends on the vendor. Let's we'll see how you hit this one. Backspin up. up. This, the launch angle stayed pretty good, and then the sin is better than ever, but he only, that's a seven iron, carries only 174, but how did you hit that? No, I hit that good, but my club, which is lighter, is carrying 192. Mm -hmm. I guess I like a lighter shafted golf club. We're gonna go from heavy to the same weight you had, just a stiffer shaft. Okay. With my golf game, I guess I like a lighter shafted golf club. We're gonna test this out and just see if the numbers magically go up from 174 to 365 yards. Okay, the launch is in the acceptable window now. You haven't hit one shot other than that one low enough with the initial launch. Right. So you asked about the loft of the club. These are lower because they launch higher. Right. But you can see how even though the number is low on the, the club, you're still in that window. That's important to understand. So the, the lofts are less than they've ever been. However, the clubs still launch high. You actually could use it even lower. And now your uh, descent angle is pretty close to that 48 degrees, which would be really nice for you to land a seven iron on the ground. Backspin is in an acceptable range, 6,300. Your launch, 15 and a half, it's going down. Your descent angle's going down. That's beautiful how this all is coming together right now, guys. If you hit that seven iron on the course, you would love this. Really? Yeah. I love it. That was a groove low, but still, I think it's gonna be pretty easy. So. Guys, look at that. I'm loving this. Are we on is still here? in that window? Yeah, you're on this one. <laughs> guys, I think we're, we're finding the fit right now. Oh my god. Best one yet? Yeah. 6500, launched it at 16, sent on that one 49. So you're pretty constant across the board here. You haven't had a single uh, descent angle be over 50 anymore. I don't know, what do you think? How, are we on to this one? Is that is this yeah, what we're leaning towards? Out of, out of all of them that you've hit, including your own, you've hit that significantly lower with the launch. The spin is good, the ball angle is green like shit. And I love the way this looks. It took a second to get used to, but like, I feel like this on the course, like you said, being able to see the ball flight in person, this is gonna be awesome. I think that's your club, Garrett. This is my club. Yeah. Whatever you need for the wedges, we'd get something that would gap you really nicely between all those all the way down, and there's your iron fitting. That's not too complicated. I feel like even just as a normal golfer, seeing those numbers and just being able to process it, that's pretty cool. I don't know. I feel like I got a lot out of this fitting so far, and I think that's our club. I am, however, gonna hit my club real quick just to check the distances again. That's higher. It's just higher. higher. More spinning. Look at that. Oh man. Immediately. Dude, that is just so unreal. much higher. All right, so just to recap and run through these numbers for you guys, this is my club right here. That's what we're looking at for spin rate, RPMs. This is what we're looking at for launch angle, which is obviously we want it ideally in this green. And this is what we're looking at for descent angle, which obviously you want this in the green as well. 50, a little bit too much. Now let's go to the Mizuno real quick, just to show them the massive difference. So obviously RPMs here on this swing and this particular swing was a little high. That looks good. Launch angle, which is in the green, perfect. And then this is below 50, so. Just based off of looking at the numbers, the best club for me so far in this iron fitting is that Mizuno. Is that, I mean, I feel like we should commit to that and just go Yeah, with you it. nailed it, absolutely. Do we, get, we would just finish off with, uh, get the line angle just right for you, so that's the angle that the sole of the club is gonna hit the ground. And right. also where the face is pointing when you hit. Then do a little fine tuning on, do you wanna start with a four iron or a five iron? Right. And then gap out your wedges and you Four to P wedge is what I'll probably do. That's what we do. Perfect, let's do it. So for this segment of the club fitting, we have our new MP20 Mizuno 7 iron right here. And apparently we got this like this tape here. This is to determine lie angle with a special ball. And walk us through this. What What's the difference in this ball? <laughs> so it's got a groove in it, so it'll leave a mark on the face as to which way the ball is actually uh, hitting the club. So making these uh, one degree upright, you know, so the other hyphenated green line in here, they're just trying to make those as parallel as you can. That's one degree. So this is in between one and two about. Should so, I hit one more? Or? No, that's enough. Because oh. really that's not going to change much for you from swing to swing. So that's one degree upright. upright. Yep. It's literally a That is literally <laughs> on the line. 
Because I, I hit it on the heel. Look at it. It's perfectly on the one degree. Oh, perfect. You can see it. <laughs> so there you go. We know what shaft you need, what uh, grip size you need. We know the lie angle of the club that you need. Just like that, guys. I'm one degree upright. I want four through pitching wedge Mizuno. What kind of shaft is that? In this detail. One, Modus Tour 105X. The Modus Tour 105X. That's the shaft I'm going to be getting in my iron. So there you have it, guys. A full iron fitting at Golf Tech. That is about it for today's video over here in Denver, Colorado at the Golf Tech headquarters. Shout out to Nick. He did a great job in the club fitting. Huge shout out to him and Golf Tech as a whole. These clubs should be coming in the mail pretty soon. And I'm going to be making another video unboxing those clubs and playing around just to see if it improves my golf game a little bit. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. Once again, massive shout out to Golf Tech. If you guys are ever close to a Golf Tech, want to get a golf lesson or club fitting, hit them up and I promise you won't regret it. Peace.